people, welcome back to Lance DIY. In this episode, we're going to talk about spigots. Why? Because I have a broken one uh, myself. Now, I'm actually going to, we're going to break this thing apart and see exactly what happened. The reason why they call this an anti-frost proof spigot is because the valve is right here, not here. The difference is probably about 30 degrees. So let's say if it's 30 degrees on the outside, it's going to be 50, 60 degrees on the inside right here. And that's why it's called anti-frost proof spigot. However, if you leave your garden hose attached to it, like I might, may have done. See here, what's gonna happen is water doesn't have anywhere to go and it's gonna freeze and it's going to, uh, it's gonna break somewhere inside. We're gonna open it up today and see what happened. Now, the other thing on these things, the way it works is that this is actually tilted. So if you look, this here is not at a straight 90 because it's actually pitched. This here is a breather tube. This here is a breather tube. So that way for any water, every time that you shut this thing off, that water, that valve all the way from here is gonna drain out every time. It's the reason why when you shut these off, it takes a second or, or so for this pipe to clear out. And it's designed that way. So we're gonna open it up see what we got. That was easy. So you got one screw here, take that off, that comes off. You grab some wrenches, you can pull this free here, then this here unthreads, comes off. And this here, there's the culprit. I'm hoping you guys can see all that. You see that? Look how bent that rod is. It's crazy, right? That's what water does. So what happened was is that water was sitting in this pipe, laying right here, and you'll see that uh, bent it. That's how much uh, force ice has, easily. And then you also notice, like if this here was level, you'll notice that when this thing sets, it's designed to go always flow outward. Obviously, if you have a garden hose attached to it, not gonna be able to, like I did. Here's what it is. Check that out. It's insane, right? Now you got options out there in the market. Mine was easy to switch out. All I had to do is throw it in, buy another one, put it back. I just had to make sure that the length was the same. That was it. I will tell you that uh, I bought a nicer one. I am not a fan other quarter turns this here is a quarter turn so every time you would turn this on or off you would just give it a quarter of a turn it didn't work out i've had a lot of problems with these um especially in residential construction a lot of problems with this the new one i bought takes like maybe two turns to the two turns to turn on and off over time i think it's going to be a better spigot maybe i'll do an episode on what spigot i, I bought but uh, for a couple other reasons too. But they're not cheap. Um, I think I paid $35 for that one. This one here is probably about a $20 unit. The goal is a Home Depot. So I'm gonna take this guy off. Sweet. So you can buy replacement parts for this, but I'll be honest with you, as damaged as this one is, I don't think it's worth keeping at all. I wouldn't trust it. Um, there's a lot of rings. You got one, two, there's three, that's four, 
side. There's like, look at that. There's like six rings in this whole system. So I'm not a big fan of buying replacements. I would just buy a new one and switch it out. Um, instead of going through the ring process because with the water, all it takes, one little drip, 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 drip. And next thing you know, you're gonna have a high water bill. Trust me, it does not take long. Um, that one little drip adds up after a month. So, worked out one the hard way too. So, again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and share. I appreciate it.